Air Force and Army canine handlers recently teamed up at Ramstein High School for training. There were new dogs in the group, so basic commands and attacks were practiced by the freshly paired partners. Handlers and the more experienced dogs patrolled the school, seeking out simulated scenarios for explosive and drug detection. It's good that we're going into the school and doing a training problem in there just because you don't want to be blindsided when you do actually have to respond to a bomb threat or a suspicious package or something like that in the school. Even though senior Airman Wendler graduated canine school a little over a month ago, this training is still part of a qualification process that all handlers go through once they've completed their initial canine training. Your dog needs that continuous training, continuous pushing her or him to go farther and deeper than what they are capable and comfortable with doing and it's going to benefit you in the long run. The canine handlers are continuously training throughout the year to maintain their combat and mission readiness. Reporting from Ranstein Air Base, I'm Airman Erica Moore.